Dr. Francis Murphy has been practicing chiropractic work in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for 30 years. He now focuses on helping children. And he's here today to explain why chiropractic care can help kids, but also change the quality of life for people of all ages. And this is very interesting to me. And let's first talk about the adults, though. Okay. Uh, well, I've only been a uh, chiropractor for 20 years. Oh, well, I just wanted <laughs> thank to... thank you. We didn't have to say that, but he, honest man, there you go. Well, still, very long time. Yes, very it's, it's been quite a while. Great in this field. Tell us, you know, your work with adults first, and I definitely want to get into talking about how you've helped children out, too, because mm -hmm. that's very, very interesting and why you decided to focus on that. But I know something you've worked hard on is the frozen shoulder syndrome. Yes. What is this? Well, for a long time, over 200 years, frozen shoulder was in the literature as a puzzling unknown circumstance that happens to people between the age of 40 and 70. And uh, three to four percent of the population will get it. It's a huge demographic. Worldwide, it's 90 million people. And um, so it is misunderstood. People used to get injections and, and uh, have surgeries where the arm was forced to be raised. and. Uh, and so about five years ago, I came across um, uh, an anomaly that is uh, demonstrable in an x-ray that shows how the skull can become misaligned in a very specific way with the cervical spine. And when that particular uh, malfunction is corrected, it miraculously fixes frozen shoulder syndrome almost instantly. And uh, there's a lot of pain and other symptoms that go with frozen shoulder, like sleeplessness and and. What's uh, the symptoms of that? Is it like you really well, can't? Well, move a frozen your shoulder person cannot bring their arm usually past 90 degrees, sometimes up to 120, but that's about it. They can't raise their arm behind their back, and they can't internally and externally rotate their arm. And they also feel pain. A lot of pain, yeah. Wow, yeah. it was so interesting. So you found a way to basically, yeah, it, it cures it, does well, it? Does well, it go it was, away completely? It was thought to be a problem with the shoulder, and it's a problem with the central nervous system, with the brain stem. Well, very interesting yes. to know, especially if maybe you're having symptoms like that. Now let's switch gears okay. into why you decided to focus on children and children's chiropractic work. Yeah, well, I made this discovery about six years ago. And I, I began to see lots of frozen shoulder from uh, frozen shoulders from all over the world. And what I noticed in doing the neurological exam was that they had other symptoms, other neurological symptoms like uh, breathing and speaking problems, gagging, uh, loss of smell, taste, problems with their eyes, facial twitches, things like that. And those problems were also going away with the treatment for the frozen shoulder. So it began to transition into seeing people with these other disorders that didn't have frozen shoulder, and it was helping a lot of people like that. So it, it ended up becoming a more of a study of the brain stem than it was of the shoulder. And lo and behold, I have a lot of children that come to my practice anyway, and I was beginning to look at them a little differently because you can see, if you look at a child, uh, you could see if they have a head tilt, if they're, if they're mechanics, if they're posture and things like that are off just like you can an adult. And so what I noticed that children that had some developmental problems were slow speakers or didn't crawl, had a lot of ear problems, well also had this same disorder of the head not, not being quite right on the spine. That's so interesting. It's very interesting because I believe a lot of it's happening at birth or the birthing really? trauma mm. or the birthing method. Uh, because it's tough, you know, sometimes at the moment of birth, things get tough. Right. And it's a, it's a struggle to have that uh, moment come out just the way mm -hmm. you want it to. And so children uh, end up having uh, some kind of neck disability that can lead to neurological malfunction. And as quickly as it fixes a frozen shoulder, it turns children around. And this is why uh, I was able to transition from seeing mostly frozen shoulders to seeing mostly children because uh, of the dramatic effect it has on, on them almost instantly. So I mean this has helped with things like breastfeeding and, and what other sort of? Well they cry, well little babies cry a lot but we're, the majority of the children I see are uh, more developed, they're two to five years old. This is where the parent has really gotten a grip on where the where, where the disability is, where the developmental disability is. Is it in learning? Is it in movement? Are they clumsy? Are they uh, 
have problems with balance and, and things like this. Uh, a lot of the children have never crawled and are slow speakers. They speak later, they speak slower and they speak later on as they become more developed. And, and this is a signal, a sign that uh, this child may have this disorder. And if they do, they may be helped very quickly. Well, this is very interesting yeah. information, especially, you know, for us parents to maybe be aware of these type of things and that yeah. it could all lead to the spine and chiropractic care. So, Dr. Murphy, thank you for joining us this morning. Oh, it was my pleasure. And to learn more about Dr. Murphy or Children's Chiropractics, visit his website, tomorrowsgeniuses.com.